will try to create compensation grades actually grades are nothing but which will define pay range of an employee so what is the range that you are offering to that particular position that you will be defining in the grade and also the grade profile the grade profile and grades are actually both same but grade profile are specific to localization you will specify whatever grade that you are defining pay range that you are defining should be applicable for this country should be applicable for uh, this group you will be defining that compensation um, grade grade profile okay so grades and grade profiles are actually interlinked when you are actually creating a grade system will ask you do you wanted to have grade profile to be selected for this grade so if you check the checkbox called a grade profile you will be able to you know perform any kind of localizations to the grade profile in grade you know you'll be specifying um, actual the pay range actually so basically you know, in grade profile we'll be specifying the localization so whichever you know let's say if you are creating one grade profile one grade okay where there are you know multiple um, uh, profiles in it uh, multiple pay ranges uh, for each country that you are defining so you cannot mm -hmm. do that um, in um, grade actually you can um, uh, have that pay ranges for different countries or different group of people in grade profiles so grade profile is specifically for uh, localization mm -hmm. so now we you know if you see the the, the the screen what i'm sharing so i've yeah. selected grade profiles now if you, if you come here you'll be seeing uh, grades and all if you wanted to define eligibility rule at grade you can define whatever you know eligibility rule that you wanted to have but mm -hmm. if you go to grade profiles you can define multiple profiles here you can add multiple profiles You can define for each profile you know you can define the eligibility rule and like that you know you can add multiple uh, grade profiles to each grade and uh, that profile will be applicable for that particular local local country actually if you are specifying for uh, let's say i think you know we'll be creating that now we'll see how it works actually So base pay generally it will be standard base pay. So now, if I go to compensation period here, if I'm not specifying anything here, okay, if I'm not specifying and defining an eligibility rule, if I wanted to specify whatever pay range that I'm specifying in grade profile, I need to specify that eligibility criteria. But if you don't want to use grade profiles before you create a grade, you know, you need to uncheck that grade profile checkbox so that you know, you'll be specifying only grade actually. So now, you know, since I wanted to have multiple eligibility rules 
to these great profiles I've, i'm creating great profiles where you know i'll be having uh you know for uh, let's say for uh, the india for us and for other country i'll be specifying a great profile with a different pay range and now when i'm attaching this to any other organization people who are part of that particular country okay india or us whatever in a great profile that i'm specifying here will be applicable for them let's say now um, i'm creating a great for uh, for philippines your country should be philippines and currency should be that particular country's currency php frequency monthly it depends upon uh, your um, actually um, the compensation um, payment uh, requirement uh, whenever you wanted to disperse this you can specify and here you'll be specifying you'll need to check the checkbox to perform a kind of calculation uh, on the segment based now uh, well, let's say if i wanted to give here 30000 and the maximum can be what happened okay So now I have a um, great profile. So great profile defined for Philippines. Okay. So now similarly, if I wanted to add one more Okay, so now I have great created for uh, Philippines and in India. What this tenant here, this tenant. Tenant is a little slow today. Okay, I, need, I did not specify pay range for India.
I'm specifying fifty thousand to max. So the, for India, the compensation pay range that I've defined is 50 to 90. So in this pay range, um, for a particular job profile or mass supervisor organization, where you know I'll be defining, uh, I'll be uh, assigning the package, right? Whenever the members of India or whenever members of Philippines are coming part of this compensation grade, they have to be in a pay range between the ranges that I've defined here. Whenever you are assigning to any supervisory organization or any of uh, the eligibility rules that we have created, right? Uh, between uh, manager and management, uh, uh, manager and above level or supervisory organization, we have created eligibility rights. To these eligibility rules, whenever we are assigning this compensation grade, people who are part of India, people who are part of that particular supervisory organization, whatever we have defined will be applicable uh, for this pay range that we have defined. So whenever you are creating a job profile, you have an option to select a job level there. Okay, okay. job level and job classification for each uh, job profile that you will be creating, you will be selecting a job level. So based on the job level, whenever you are creating, you will be ass assigning the compensation, different compensation grades. Actually, if you go to employee profile, you'll be seeing job profile. Let me show you. So now if I go to this employee profile, If you go to job, job details, you see job profile is there, tax accountant. Okay, yeah. if I click on this one, it will drill down into more details where you can see the compensation part is not assigned. We'll take one, one more actual employee. Whatever you'll be assigning at job profile, the grade profile that we are creating, right, will be attaching a job profile and you'll be seeing there actually. If I go to Julie Balls, basically, whenever um, we are creating a job profile. We'll be getting all the compensation grade information and all for that particular job profile. So we'll attach okay. that to particular uh, job profile whenever we are creating. Okay. So you see here, the compensation grade has been assigned to this job profile and the eligibility rules um, has been defined. So now we have created a grade. Now we'll see how, you know, we can, what is the grade that we have worked a compensation grade, I believe we have created. I'll just name it here. Yeah. 